desiccated are wet outside and they're clean. So you can directly send them to the lab. This is model 8 liquid sampler. It can be used for unit dose sampling of liquids or semi-solids. Uh, this we also call it a syringe sampler. There are three different ones available here. One with an adapter here for a 5 cc syringe and another sampler with an adapter to hold a 30 cc syringe and a third one with an adapter for a 60 cc syringe. The 5 cc syringe and the 30 cc syringe, syringes, they come with a tip that has a narrow bore. I think it's only like a millimeter ID. If you use those syringes, you, have, uh, you can use them for liquids or real true solutions, sampling. If you use those for suspensions, there is a danger that the suspended particles might be filtered out because the tip is so narrow. In a case like that, where you have a suspension or it is a semi-solid paste or gel or something like that, the best thing is to use a 60 cc syringe. This syringe has a tip which has a bore ID of about 4 or 5 millimeters. Let me show you the details of this sampler. See this end here holds the syringe inside. To push the syringe outside, you push the inner shaft down and the syringe will be coming out here and you can just take the syringe out like this. These samplers are made to accommodate Terumo brand syringes only. Other brands may not have the plunger base of the same dimensions, so they may not fit here properly. If you badly need to use a different brand syringe, then we have to make this to fit those syringes. This is the syringe. Let me show you the top part of this sampler. See here, if you can see the, the scale that is etched here is exactly the same scale that is on the 5cc syringe. It is done on a CNC machine, so it is an exact replica of the scale on the syringe. And on the inner shaft, there is a pin, locking pin here. And the scale is divided into 1cc markings here. If you look at the top of the syringe sampler, this is called the sleeve. Actually, it uh, performs two functions. One, to make the sampler robust at the top. And number two, the scale on the syringe is exactly replicated on this sleeve. The inner shaft has a pin, if you can see here, that pin can lock in different positions. Each position was made at 1 cc intervals. So if you want to take 1 cc, you pull the sampler up to inner shaft up to here and lock it in place. That will give you 1 cc sample. If you take, pull it all the way up, it will give you 5 cc sample. Let me show you with an actual uh, sampling. Okay, if you see this tip, it has uh, two, it is like a flange cut into the end of that. The, the, the plunger base goes into that, push this inside, and then this adapter cover goes 
onto the syringe and it keeps the syringe in place and also this helps to uh, keep the syringe clean. Uh, the outside of the syringe really doesn't come in contact with the sampler. Only the tip of the syringe will be exposed to the liquid. Now, let us take a sample and uh, water sample and see how much we get. I will try to take, say, 3 cc sample. Now, let us insert the sampler into water and I will pull the inner shaft to 3 cc's and I will lock it in that position and then we will pull the sampler out of the liquid. We will remove the sampler and put it on the stand, the plastic stand, so it does not touch the table or contaminate anything. Now, we can remove this adapter and retrieve the sample with, within the syringe. To do that, we will just push this. Now, you can see the syringe has come out and you can see that the sample is there. It is, I think, close to 3 cc right there. So, uh, you know, you can take even 1 cc, if you want even maybe half cc uh, sam uh, sample with these syringes. We can make a syringe sampler to uh, take even larger samples than 60 cc. But the only problem is sterile disposable syringes are available only up to 60 cc. If you do not have to have a sterile sample, then we can use a 140 cc syringe and we can definitely make a syringe sampler accommodating that.